Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Arkit Soft Academy. Uh, who are watching already watching my tutorial uh, channel? This tutorial channel I up basically upload many videos on Oracle different technologies, uh, starting from Oracle uh, SQL uh, or structured query language, Oracle PLSQL programming, Oracle uh, database design and architecture and oracle database administration and also uh, oracle forms and reports development and also unique cell scripting okay so uh, i already started one uh, tutorial series of uh, interview questions and answers uh, so i have started from here a difference between procedure and functions uh, so uh, and difference between truncate and delete uh, so these are very important questions asked in uh, many interviews so uh, basically I uh, that's why uh, I have started a series of uh, co interview questions and answers uh, for each video I uh, providing one question with proper answers I will uh, I explained it uh, in easy and uh, uh, with examples uh, easy way and with examples uh, so that you can uh, learn from it and get the details and how to uh, answer your interviewer uh, you can just get the details and uh, get the concept in uh, detail okay so starting from here i have started my interview questions and answers uh, difference between procedure and function difference between delete truncate difference between table and view these are uh, almost in all the interviews these questions have been um, uh, these questions may be asked uh, and uh, i see actually in my experiences most of the candidates uh, are not able to properly answer these questions so i have uh, uh, that's why i have started this uh, series of uh, questions and answers interview questions and answers and uh, here uh, there is a difference between row id and row num uh, these are very common uh, and uh, um, questions asked by the interviewer. Uh, difference between primary key and foreign key, difference between union and union or all. So these are uh, the uh, very very important questions asked, asked by the interviewer in every interviews you face. Whether you are a fresher or you are just passed out from the college and going to join uh, any company and uh, that's why you are facing interviews uh, in uh, Oracle uh, platform or Oracle technology or uh, you may be five years or three, four, five years or any years of experiences you have uh, and working in some company but want to switch to another company and that's why you are um, uh, applying for that position uh, like Oracle SQL developer or PLSQL developer or um, maybe uh, you are applying for um, database tester or data analyst uh, many kind of positions in Oracle uh, platform uh, actually Oracle is a very uh, secured and very popular database and almost all small and big company uses Oracle as a uh, database backend database so that's why uh, um, uh, I have started this series of questions and answers so that you people get benefit of it and you can uh, f whenever you face these questions you can uh, uh, answer properly to your interviewer okay and uh, actually uh, yeah I have already uploaded top 15 interview tips and you just uh, watch this video uh, these are my this I have uh, this uh, I have um, uh, here I have described uh, many things uh, from my experiences, uh, I, uh, I'm, I shared my experiences, uh, what uh, you can follow uh, for a, before going to sit uh, for an interview. Uh, and uh, this is the very important uh, question, one, uh, for one of my followers have been asked this, uh, so 
I made a video and I have uploaded that uh, with proper uh, detail discussion and uh, with examples okay uh, so why gathering statistics is important this question have been asked by Siddhartha uh, one of my one of my follower so uh, that's why I made a video and uploaded here uh, for your learning and this all those uh, things I am giving you free uh, so that you people get benefit of it and you people learn uh, from my video uh, and uh, who are watching my channel new uh, for them uh, uh, let's into uh, let's uh, I am in uh, I introduce myself uh, my name is Robin and I have total of 17 years experiences working with different Oracle technologies as I already said and uh, I have whole uh, I have worked on many MN IT MNCs with many positions starting from Oracle developer uh, then technical uh, uh, consultant, then technical lead, uh, then team lead, then project lead, then associate project manager and project manager. So during my 17 years of exp uh, experiences working with Oracle Technologies, um, right now I am a Oracle senior con senior Oracle consultant as well as. I am a uh, uh, online technical trainer and also I am a interviewer okay I am taking interviews or many MNCs so uh, that's why from my experiences I have uh, created this channel and, and I uplo uploaded many videos for you uh, starting from very basic things to the advanced things okay uh, I have started from the very basic SQL concepts, uh, DBMS concepts uh, here and also uh, Oracle PL SQL part uh, very basic to the advanced level um, uh, um, concepts I, uh, I make the videos of many advanced concepts of PL SQL programming like Oracle cursors, exceptions, collections arrays ex, uh, explain plan this is very important for uh, database administration part and also materialized file view is very important and also there are two parts of materialized view these are for uh, oracle administration part and also there are uh, PL SQL record of three parts and uh, uh, oracle sql fundamentals so you can uh, get every uh, thing uh, if you are a st just uh, starting uh, learning oracle from uh, you can just uh, watch from the very basic uh, video uh, starting from here like oracle sql full uh, concept here and here and oracle PL sql full concept here and you can start from here dbms concept if you don't have the dbms concept uh, I, uh, and also uh, in, uh, from the advanced level if you already know the, the SQL and also know some PL SQL you can go for the advanced topics okay so I have a one Unix uh, fundamentals and sense programming video you can just watch out and uh, whenever you are watching my video you just uh, watch the full video so that you can get the full understanding in detail and also uh, uh, you can get benefit of it okay so it will be useful for you uh, i am sure about that so uh, today's topic what i am going to share is uh, this is very important question asked in interview in, in any interview so this question is uh, what is the raise application error and uh, what is the use of this okay so uh, i am going to discuss today in today's uh, tutorial video what is the his application error and this is this question is asked uh, in many interviews and i see uh, candidates are not able to answer properly even uh, they are very experienced like 15 or 16 years or 10 plus years of experiences also they are not able to proper an, uh, properly answer this question 
so i am just uh, uh, i i want to describe this question with proper answer and uh, just watch this video completely so that you can uh, understand it very well okay so raise application error is a uh, what is a real a raise application error so uh, uh, oracle has some predefined uh, inbuilt uh, packages and also procedures okay so one of the most important oracle inbuilt package is uh, dbms standard okay so uh, i am writing db ms standard okay so this is the uh, oracle inbuilt package and this is very important package and raise application error is a procedure uh, of that package okay so what is a raise application error raise application error is a procedure of uh, inbuilt uh, package dbms standard okay so i am writing here so is application error is a procedure of so it is a inbuilt procedure okay so is application error is a inbuilt inbuilt procedure of oracle package dbms standard so raise application error is a inbuilt pack inbuilt procedure of dbms standard package okay okay so this is the raise application error and uh, in detail uh, what we can mm, uh, describe that uh, uh, raise application error is used basically to uh, mm, uh, 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 to throw the error message. Okay, uh, raise application error to uh, is uh, used to display the error message from a uh, stored procedure and functions. Whenever uh, a error is raised, raise application error is used to display the error message with a error number and a user defined error message so i am writing uh, this package this procedure dior is used to display the user defined error number with error messages okay so raise application error is used to display the uh, user defined error number uh, to display the uh, user defined error number with a error message with a with a error message okay so uh, uh, this is very helpful uh, for debugging any procedures or triggers so this is this package this is very helpful for debugging purpose okay debugging of stored procedures or triggers okay so whenever a uh, error has occurred we, uh, the user can throw the uh, user defined error number with a user defined error uh, user can display or throw the user defined message 
with a error number okay and uh, when you call the raise application error uh, procedure uh, so how to call uh, is raise application error procedure the calling method is calling method what is the calling method calling method is it is a, a procedure of dbms standard package so i have to write here dbms standard dot raise application error okay so this is the calling process uh, calling method of raise application error and uh, this is the calling method uh, we have to put the package name dot the procedure name this is the procedure of tbm standard package okay this is a inbuilt package and this is a inbuilt procedure okay so now uh, whenever uh, um, uh, you are writing this uh, uh, um, uh, statement inside your plsql block how you can write this okay so write uh, 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 you have to write uh, the complete uh, statement with uh, raise application error like this so the complete statement okay what is the complete statement so suppose you have written a procedure which is uh, performing a particular task so if certain condition you want to raise uh, this okay you want to go out of the uh, if certain condition is matches you not proceed to the next uh, um, next uh, processing and just you want to come out okay so for that purpose this raise application error is used and whenever you are using this you just put a error number or uh, as per uh, uh, certain one certain range there is certain range i will tell you and with your uh, um, uh, with your uh, defined the error message what message you want to display okay so the complete uh, statement is dbms uh, stand uh, raise application error you cannot uh, de you cannot define you may not define the dbms standard package but uh, uh, if you just call it that will be fine so this is a complete statement uh, error number error number and error message okay so this is your uh, error number and this is your uh, defined error message uh, okay suppose you want to display some message like okay i will tell i'm first telling you what is the error number so error number uh, keep in mind uh, most of the candidate not uh, able to tell the uh, error number uh, what is the range of that error number so this is very much important to uh, remember it you have to remember it because the interviewer can ask you what is the range of error number is there any range or what is the range so most of the candidate not able to uh, answer that okay so uh, uh, yeah, um, i'm uh, writing here what is the range of error number so error number error number range is minus 20000 minus 20000 to minus 20999 okay so keep this remember uh, keep it remember uh, that uh, error number range is min minus 20000 to minus 20999 this is the range of your error number uh, any number in between this range you can put here okay and your error message what is what message you want to display what message you want to display whenever a particular error is occurred okay according to the error you can display your message like uh, if here uh, um, uh, let's say one employee salary is uh, if a employee salary is less than uh, less than uh, 3000 you want to update it with 5000 so in that condition you can put here put this raise application error uh, so that uh, you, you can uh, just uh, uh, put any number in between this and your error message like uh, 
uh, employee salary cannot be less than uh, 3000 okay and uh, in that case uh, what it happens uh, uh, raise application er and it is very important to remember that whenever you are calling raise application error it stops the uh, uh, your program execution uh, whatever your pl sql program it stops the execution of the rest of the statements uh, and it uh, um, comes out okay through from your uh, block of uh, program okay and uh, whatever you made the changes uh, before calling the raise application error all the things will be rolled back okay uh, let's say you have some uh, you have uh, updated some records or you have uh, inserted some records but you have not committed uh, uh, before calling the raise application error so whenever in which line you are calling raise application error uh, just it stops the program execution next of the statement will not execute it will come out the, of the program and also it will roll back the previous uh, statements okay uh, any update or any dml operations you performed it is just rolled back okay so uh, keep it remember when we call this procedure it stops the program execution and all the dml suppose insert update delete operations will be rolled back okay that means uh, there will be no database changes okay uh, per, uh, um, uh, though you have made some dml operations uh, you have made some inserts updates or deletes before calling the procedure but these changes will not be permanent or uh, not affect the database okay and it will be get rolled back so these are all things uh, about the raise application error procedure and i have described in detail i think you understand the in detail uh, about this procedure and what is the raise application error procedure and what is, is this use and what is the restriction of using this and what uh, in which situation you use this procedure and after calling this procedure what is going to happen so all these things i have discussed here i think you have uh, understand it in detail and properly and you can uh, if this question have been asked uh, by your interviewer you can uh, answer everything uh, about this procedure raise application error so that's all for today's session i think you like my video if you like my video just give a like and also if it is helpful for you uh, it is if you think it is uh, helpful for you just uh, subscribe my channel and also uh, hit the bell icon so that uh, on the next video you will get the notification and you can learn uh, the uh, concept uh, which uh, i have delivered in my video tutorial okay so that's all from today's session thank you very much for watching my video just uh, if this uh, video is helpful for you and if you like this video just give a like also you just uh, uh, watch other videos which i already discussed and uh, if like this uh, video and it uh, um, uh, these are helpful for you uh, and uh, you are getting benefit of it you just give a like and subscribe my channel and also uh, hit the bell icon and also you uh, don't forget to share my uh, uh, youtube channel link this is the link youtube channel uh, or you can search uh, any uh, you can search just with uh, arkesoft academy and you just share with your friends and colleagues uh, 
uh, my channel uh, and uh, so that they can be benefit of it they can get benefit of it and they can uh, learn from my video tutorials okay so that's all from my channel uh, from my uh, this uh, session uh, so that's all uh, to discuss today and um, thank you very much just give a like and subscribe my channel thank you